Hello, it's Scott. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the hardest words in the English language to pronounce. And that word is no. Um, and saying that is, you know, in sales, uh, just like in life, you always want to be liked, uh, you always want to be loved, you always want people to be happy around you. And unfortunately, sometimes you have to say no. It's something a lot of people struggle with on a regular basis. But when you can finally have the courage to say no, the world becomes so much better for you. Um, one thing that you can't get back in life is time. So if you see a file or a customer and, and they have unrealistic expectations, um, sometimes it's hard to, to give them the initial no. But in the long run, that will not only save time for you, but you'll be benefiting your client as well. There comes a point in time when it is better to say no than to waste your time, waste their time, waste resources. Um, but the good thing about life is no's are not permanent. Um, what's a no today in 30 days could be a yes. Um, so it's always good to soften the blow of a no. If you're able to build a strong enough relationship with an existing client or a potential client, uh, you can convey your no in a way that lets them know you're still looking out for their best interest. Um, and it doesn't just have to be on a decline or an unrealistic purchase. Uh, sometimes clients will come to you and, and they want something more than they need or they want something more than they can afford. And to be able to tell your client, no, unfortunately you're on the wrong product, this is where you could be, this is where you should be, um, also builds a lot of trust with them. Uh, just because they want a $100,000 piece or they want $150,000, understanding their business and who they are and your business can allow you to steer them in a direction that's not only beneficial to you and your company, but to them and their company. And they'll thank you a lot more for that no than any yes you could ever give them.